right guys welcome to my channel hope you're doing well my name's Gigi if you don't know if you're new welcome if you're returning thank you for returning I appreciate you all so um let's see what's going on with you guys okay let's see what's going on I'll get straight into it which one do you want me to use first this deck the moonology let's see your overall energy Taurus let's see your overall energy Can you tell me about Taurus, please? Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Lovely. Luck is on your side. So some of you guys could be um, realising that um, certain events, certain events that you're experiencing, whether you... Sometimes we see it as negative, but actually, when we look back, um, how many times, Taurus, yeah, has certain things happened to you? And you were like, at, at the time, you were like, damn, I can't believe this is happening. But then later on, months later, years later, you realise, you know what, that actually worked out for the best. That allowed this to happen, that this allowed this version of me to, you know, for me to discover this about myself, whatever it may be, okay? Oh, expect powerful change as well in the bottom of the deck. But yeah, so we have um, you and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer. And we have expect powerful change, okay? Something something big is happening for you, okay? Something big is coming up soon. I'm curious as well. So let's see. In regards, so that's generally, that's not just focused on your love. I feel like overall that's going to impact your life in a, in a good way, okay? In a positive way. All right, Taurus. Let's see. What love messages do we have for Taurus? What love messages do we have for Taurus, please? All right, Taurus. So we have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that it will all work out for the best. That's what I was just saying. You see what I was just saying? Regardless of your situation, this could be family, friends, a partner. It, it doesn't really matter the connection, yeah? Um, that's what I was just saying. You know, sometimes when you look back and you think, oh, you know, actually that worked out for the best. Just trust in the process, okay? Trust it. Don't fight it. And we have friendship here. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and love and your love life will dramatically improve. I actually, I, I said that the other day, I don't even, I said that the other day to somebody, you know, like just focus on your connections, your connection with yourself, the love that you have for yourself and it will literally um, attract higher, um, higher vi vibrational uh, connections, okay? And a message for you. I'm thinking of you at this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Okay. I've got someone in their thoughts, uh, Taurus. All right, so let's use this deck today. Let's use this deck. What can you tell me about Taurus, please? What can you tell me? I just heard... Um, snake okay so some of you guys may feel like somebody's snaky around you or somebody could have accused you of this okay or some of you guys are feeling a little bit suspicious about somebody around you uh you know all right anyways please spirit tell me what taurus needs to know right now thank you so we have justice and we have eight of pentacles this is you working towards something. So I feel like something fair is going to happen in regards to your work life, your career, okay? Something that you're working on is going to it's going to um go in the right direction, okay? Thank you. Page of wands and the magician. I'm seeing for some reason you're you're able to make things happen. Some somebody is is like say you work a job and there's like five people doing the same role that you do and these people come to you taurus how do you do this taurus I mean, you guys do the same thing but they turn to you something about you making things happen or you're you're some of you guys are meant to be a leader or 
some you know especially if you feel like um if not everyone not everyone's good with uh taking instructions and stuff like that or they don't really want somebody watching over them at work i.e me i don't like it i never liked it it never sat well with me i've worked from the age of 16 up until i was 32 i'm 33 now like i I, it never sat well with me so some of you guys are like that too where it's like um a lot of people are asking you things coming to you so if that's the case that shows that you have leadership skills okay if people are trusting in you and you're doing the same job and they're turning to you you deserve better you deserve to have a better role more money okay so look into that don't sell yourself short don't settle for something that you know you you can do better somewhere else. Please don't settle, whatever that is for you, Taurus, okay? Please have more. Six of Wands. Six of Wands, okay? That's you being successful. Yeah, you're, you're successful at what you do. A lot of fire energy there. Page of Wands, the Magician and the Six of Wands. A lot of fiery energy. A lot of passion. I like this. I like this. So you're lead, you you really are leading to somewhere that's three of one, something that you've been manifesting, something that you've been waiting for. Okay. Some of you guys, it's a higher position. This is coming out as a career reading, possibly life path. Okay. Depend, you know, some of you guys, I will look at love afterwards, but I'll address what comes up first. Okay. What else can you tell me, please? Taurus. Thank you. Three of cups. So there's something that you've been waiting for. There's some kind of success coming to you. Something that you've been manifesting, okay? And I see you celebrating. You're celebrating, 3-3. Three, three. There's something that you're celebrating here. Okay, you could be... some. It could be some kind of award, okay? Um, someone, um, employer of the month, yeah? Just literally your family saying, wow, like, look how far you've come. Or even yourself, okay? But I do see you celebrating something, okay? It could be a graduation. It could be some of you guys could be um, um, it could be in regards to your your love life. OK, it could be many things, some kind of celebration. Could be meeting up with friends there as well. The Knight of Wands. That's that's in this reading this is showing me that you want to let your hair down. OK, work's done. You celebrate and you're going out and you're having fun. You want to be care okay okay um work hard party harder is that the saying you know we you know you get you're getting old when you say shit like that <laughs> anyways whatever whatever yeah work hard play harder something like that oh no i can't remember but i'm seeing you let your hair down and have fun this could be you taking a trip somewhere too okay all right, last card before we move on to your love portion, yeah? Let's see what comes up for you. Thank you. Eight of Wands. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm getting a lot of um, a lot of invitations, a lot of um, people reaching out to you. Opportunities is actually what I'm getting, okay? This could also be you helping other people, giving other people opportunities. All right. All right, let's move on. Taurus, I'm going to use my new deck. I got these cards today. Hidden Truth and the Rebel deck, I think it is. The Rebel deck, whatever it is, yeah. Let's see what comes up for you guys. I'm intrigued. Let's see. Let's see. Actually, no, let me do this one first. Let's see. Please tell me about Taurus. Please tell me about Taurus. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. That kind of reminds me of the last reading I've done for you, and shit is going down with your job. You see what I'm saying? It come out, career, and even in this, is shit is going down with your job. What did I say in your last reading? If you're new to my channel, guys, and you, you're experiencing some things at work, check my last reading for you, yeah? Um... The ones who've already seen that you like is weird that's coming out again. Okay. There's something that's coming up 
you're putting a lot of energy let me just let me just put it like this yeah Taurus if you're at a, a workplace where you're not getting much back from them but you're putting a lot of effort in imagine what you can do with your own business imagine what you can do okay let I'm just gonna say that imagine what you can do if you're given somewhere that's not even appreciating you all your energy imagine what you can do with um and and you're you're helping them grow their business okay all right let's see what else comes up i think i just have to see what comes out you know and just go with it i'm not going to force it all right please tell me about taurus or can you tell me what they need to know this taurus need to know right now thank you <laughs> uh stop fucking whining and don't be offended it literally says that all right don't shoot the messenger no one wants to listen to that shit complaining makes you weak you have the strength to change the world so do it you're being pushed in a certain direction taurus so if things are not going the way you'd like it to there's a reason for it so it's, it's literally you taking a minute sometimes you need some some of you guys need to take a break and really think about or just take time for yourself to really reflect on what it is that you want to do if you're happy with where you are it's not for you but it's for the tauruses that are like thinking i need to move on i need something new okay thank you you need a good fucking cry i think there's a lot of swear words in this one it is what it is you need you need a good fucking cry yeah get the ugly cry on let that shit go your soul will thank you yeah i guess it helps i guess it helps like be real with me taurus yeah be real with me like do you guys cry a lot because i'm a taurus moon yeah like i'm a pisces sun taurus moon virgo rising yeah but as a taurus moon that like, i used to cry a lot before my um spiritual awakening but like once i started stop kind of pitying myself and all that shit and, and let certain things go i don't cry that much i rarely cry so as you as a tourist do you guys cry a lot like, i don't know I, I, I never really known tourists to cry like that but i don't really like i don't really cry a lot I'm, I'm i'm curious some of you guys if you do feel like that let it go it could be saying you know just release that emotion all right last one from this deck because this is um yeah what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you are waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. <laughs> I like, I like, whoever wrote this, I like them. Whoever wrote these cards, I like them. Big up yourself. All right. Um, there's something serious to saying, come on, you know, you know, you. this reminds me of not the reading that I've done um, earlier on through Tauruses, the reading before. I can't remember what it was called, but... um. I can't remember what I was wearing either. So just not the reading that I've done before this, where I was wearing a grey uh, dress, the reading before that. Check that out if you're new to my channel or if you're a tourist and you haven't watched that, watch it, okay? Because um, I, I, I addressed that stuff in, in that reading as well, okay? All right. All right. Tell me about this person um, that Taurus is dealing with, okay, romantically. Three, 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 when I said that. Woo! I left you before you could leave me. Someone sabotaged this relationship. Some that's somebody who's who's scared of commitment or scared of uh, yeah, definitely someone who sabotaged it. I'm becoming a better person. So somebody really is truly doing what they can to um, better themselves. And remember, we're all on different paths. So what bettering is to us? To them may not be better than to us but for them it, it could be you know anyways i lost myself for a little while wow okay so somebody was really deep in their emotions there okay i feel like they they realized something had to change something had to change yeah it clearly wasn't liking how things were going uh what else can you tell me please we'll get two more cards and then no we'll get a few more cards and then we'll finish up the reading what else can you tell me about this person please I would I wish I could share my good news with you. Oh, this is someone that clearly, you know, you had a lot of conversations, you probably made plans about things and you did share each other's um success and stuff like that, achievements and 
clearly some of you guys aren't speaking to this person like that anymore okay so i'm picking up on the past person or somebody that you've recently broken off with okay it was quite hot in here all right the timing just wasn't right for us honestly i like i do believe things happen for a reason whether we like it or not um and i feel like there was definitely a lesson that you both learned in this connection um and sometimes we feel like it's just us that's hurt because we can't feel what they feel but i do feel like you, you know that person definitely went through it as well even if they don't um uh express it or if they act a bit like a dick you know or a bitch whatever yeah you know we all express things in a different way yeah coping mechanisms i will wait for a sign from you and that come out in reverse okay so i will wait for a sign for you so somebody's kind of like like slowly releasing themselves okay it's like like the, the cord is here the, the the scissors and it's slowly trying to break away cut it away okay so i feel like someone's trying their best to let go okay but slowly last card you finish up the reading yeah so i feel like this is a past person i knew exactly what i was doing of course you did i left you before you could leave me whoever that is i knew exactly what i was doing all right now i'm not really feeling that energy i'm not gonna lie because like if you just preconceived shit i don't know about that boy if some because i'm picking up on somebody that just doing them do, doing the most really you know to kind of sabotage his connection and stuff like that in and out you know locking um putting up pictures of somebody else you know not answering the phone not turning up on it you know all these fucking shit all these games and shit so yeah yeah um good riddance good riddance yeah better things are coming all right guys i'm gonna leave it there please actually subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next reading bye guys